Okay, I'm getting ready to prepare three cups of short grain brown rice to be cooked in our pressure cooker. And uh, we buy this at our grocery store. We just take our jar in so we don't even have to get bags. So generally the amount that we use that we like to cook is three cups. And I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly exact. That's pretty close right there. So this stuff is, believe it or not, really dirty when you get it. So it needs to be cleaned and the, the grains need to be broken open a little bit. So I just clean it in a pan like this. You'll see how dirty this water gets. A lot of times this rice and a lot of products like raisins and things are dried outside at farms where the dust of the fields just settles on it and you really don't want to eat that. But look how dirty this water is just after just a little bit of, you know, you don't want to eat that. And then since this is good, pretty good water, I don't want to waste it so I'm going to pour it on my garden so I just pour it in my because we're in the middle of a drought. At this point I like to put it in the strainer. that water again, let some of the rest of the dirt kind of fall through. Everybody has their own style of cleaning rice. Just clean it, that's all that matters. Yeah, you just clean it. Yeah, it's not, it's not a religious ceremony. <laughs> the difference in how the rice tastes, you know, I didn't, that and cooking it in the pressure cooker. Um, but if you ever want to see how dirty stuff is that comes from farm fields, wash raisins sometimes. Wash organic raisins that you get at the, the, the that you buy in bulk. And you you'll will, never throw them in your mouth you'll again. You'll just never eat them straight again because they are filthy. But if you like eating dirt, then go ahead. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the pressure cooker. This is our sillet pressure cooker. This is what we're going to cook it in. But with this, the way we cook this rice is we don't just now start cooking it. We soak it, preferably for you know eight hours, like overnight, or you could get it ready in the morning before you go to work and turn it on when you get home, and it'll be ready. But, but at least it has to be at least three or four three hours. Three or four hours. And when you soak it, you just soak it in. You, you're going to soak it now in your clean, filtered water that you're actually going to cook it in, and. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, the, the, the ratio is always two to one whenever you have, whenever you cook this brown rice in a pressure cooker. So if you're going to make three cups of, of uh, brown rice, you're going to use six cups of water. And I think I've heard that different pressure cookers act differently and so everybody has to Experiment figure out exactly a little bit. What, what, what theirs is going to so be. So there's four cups. And now here's two. Now Alan is bringing our dirty rice water out to the garden. You don't want to waste any of that water. <laughs> 